Okay, in this video, I'm uh, trying to help uh, get you guys started on the slides, um, solving equations with variables on both sides. Okay, and I have uh, some advice I would do with all these uh, slides, with all these problems. And I'm going to look back at the, the tile type way to do this at the same time, if, if you need to see both of these at the same time. Okay, so when we're solving the problems on the, on the slide lesson, if you have a positive x term on both sides, I recommend that you subtract the smaller x term from both sides. Okay, so I'll work this out on this video showing you how we did it with tiles. Okay, so we had 5x plus 2 is equal to 3x plus 8. Okay, so if you wanted to get x's on one side, the easiest way is to subtract. 3x from the right, and you have to do the same thing to the other side, subtract 3x's from the left. Okay, so we would subtract 3x from the left here. I wrote that in, type that in, subtract 3x from the right. Okay, then I would, we would say, you know, here's what you get. And then you would look back at the tiles and figure out what you get. But I also want you to see this. Look up here on the equation. 5x minus 3x, you know that that's 2x. We still have plus 2. On the right, 3x take away 3x goes away. Okay, you're left with 8. Okay, so when we did this before, I said just look at your, your visual. You can tell by looking at the picture here. We have 2x plus 2 equals 8. Okay, the next thing we did when we did uh, worked with the tiles, we tried to get the, the green rectangles alone. Okay, we would subtract these two uh, yellows that are next to the rectangles. So we would subtract two yellows from the left to get the X's alone, but we would have to also subtract two yellows, two positives from the right to keep it balanced. Okay, so you would have written that in, minus two, minus two, then I asked you, you know, look to see what you get. Okay, and you can tell from your tiles, you have 2x equals 6. But let's just look right here on the uh, equation. Okay, we had 2x plus 2 is equal to 8. Look right here. 2 minus 2 is 0. That went away. So that's why we're left with 2x on the left. Okay, look over here on the right. We have 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. Okay, so we, we do get 2x is equal to 6. Okay, um, back in the day, we would, I would tell you, think about splitting the tiles up equally. And we did that. We would split both sides up into two groups because we don't want one trick-or-treater to get more candy than the other, right? We thought of this as two trick-or-treaters and six pieces of candy. Okay, so what we really did is we divided each side up into two groups, and we showed that by putting a two underneath the fraction bar. And we can tell by the visual that each trick-or-treater, each X, is equal to three. Okay, but another way to look at this is to think, well, we have 2 times x is equal to 6. Okay, we got to get rid of the multiplied 2. Okay, to get rid of a multiplied number, we divide both sides by 2. Okay, it's an inverse operation. And then we have 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Okay, uh, let me know if you have questions at all on this, okay?